Welcome back. Leaving Carlisle Bridge behind, we now enter the ascent region of the Highlands. The single track road here cuts its way through the valleys and woodlands, cresting magnificent hills, giving way to postcard views. And for us, it's here where the true adventure begins. Good morning. We had a bit of company again last night. A bit of barking, and I don't mean Claire. I mean this little fella. What a lovely morning in the highlands of Scotland. Sit on the beach in Spain. Not for me. The sun is out. The solars are up, charging everything. And we've had some gorgeous company with the deers in the background there. What a lovely park up spot this was. So it's amazing what a, the difference in weather can make to, to an adventure. I think what we're going to do is finish off the NC500 in the next couple of days. And then we'll head off back into the deepest, darkest parts of uh, Scotland because that's where the true adventure is. Myself and uh, Claire are making good use of the free power. Uploading everything that we've taken so far. And then good old Claire is in the background. Hello. Doing her degree in photography. Good luck on that one.
to go up the mountain in a bit. In this particular spot you can see where we've parked up here. Can you see the road in the background? Coming right from the top of the hill, all snaking its way down, all the way around, and then it does the same on the other side. Snaking itself all the way down. It's stunning, very, very scenic. I'll show you it from from above now. So we're uh, about to take a walk, climb, scramble, whatever you call it, up to the top of that there, so that we can take a uh, photograph of a scent, a scent mountain. Sorry, Scotland. Because um, the sun's now come round over to this side, so it will light up, at least light up the. Uh, west facing side of the uh, mountain there. We do apologise for people that aren't into photography that follow the channel and we thank you for following the channel. Um, myself and Claire the reason we do the van thing as I've said before is it allows us that escape and that method to be able to go and take pictures of some uh, different places. Yep. Yep. Where are we going? That way. That way. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's all soggy. All the ground's very wet.
Our fellow stag is just uh, lying down in front of us, keeps rolling over, wanting his uh, belly tickled, a bit like Claire. It's nice, peaceful. Bit, the wind's a bit brisk, there's a bit of a, a chill in the air to be expected in the glorious highlands of uh, Scotland. So, let me sum up the NC500 so far and what has been my highlight. Today has been my highlight because we've not driven round the NC500. <laughs> <laughs> we've, uh, we've stayed put all day. You'd have seen some of that footage earlier. And this is why we come up here. I understand the NC500 and if I was in my, my uh, sports car then it'd be a completely different scenario but when you're up here for a break and you want to do a bit of photography and stuff that we like to do adventure and f and find the uh, untrodden path <laughs> should we say this is what we like doing and uh, Claire's taking the mick out of me for some reason so I'm going to ask her why <laughs> Does your hat feel tight? <laughs> yes it does actually it's because it's mine it's perched on your head. I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing my head. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it's your one, is it? It's like a school cap. Doing me Jimmy Cranky impression. <laughs> anyway, what I am going to talk to you about is obviously you saw the other day how how we done the shower. <laughs> Charming, isn't she? She's she's like an add-on. She's like an extra in my vlogs. <laughs> so you saw the other the other day that we uh, set up the shower tent. That's what we do when we're uh, roughing it, if we're not going to go onto a site. And with this COVID going on at the moment, most of the sites haven't opened their facilities. The sites themselves are open, but they have not opened their toilet <laughs> facilities oh, or anything. Shower. Oh, they're showers. I'm not getting the shower tent out tonight because it's extremely windy out there. But what we have got is... Claire's not prepped them or anything <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> so for them times that you can't uh oh player's got a fashion one for you <laughs> that you can't get to the shower we have these whole body wipes <laughs> so they're like massive baby wipes um what i do warm them up on the stove because claire's soft and then um yeah have a full body scrub there you go. That's what we do in emergencies when we can't get to a shower. Showers done. Good morning. Don't know if you uh, can pick that up over the wind and the weather. What a difference a night makes, eh? We had a smashing day yesterday. We did nothing, as you would have seen. And that's what we needed. So we're gonna head off up that road to Drumbeg. Fully rested, we head to Drumbeg to stock up on provisions before heading inland in search of a castle. Memories are I guide Like an afterthought What we felt and said Red wine in your bed On the naked floor Times are hard, she's watching her own videos. <laughs> <laughs> so we've just pulled over at Lock Inver to 
to pick up some groceries so we can head back out into the uh, into the wild for a bit. And we just bumped into uh, a couple from Canvey Island and Essex. So I'd like to say uh, a big hello. Hope you've uh, enjoyed the final week of your adventure and that you've not got any more tyre blowouts on them massive rims that you're riding on. Uh, so just a big hello. It was lovely to meet you. So we're at the Highland Stoneware store in Loch Inver and we thought we'd come and have a look. Thought we'd come and spend some money more like it. Yeah. And it says over there, the Highland Stoneware does not strive for lifeless uniformity. So let's go and see what it's all about. Hey, what do you think of that? It was lovely. Um, yeah, lots of different pottery, lots of different artists. Um, yeah, we haven't bought anything. <laughs> and they run classes on a Saturday as well. So. It's a lovely shop. Uh, yeah. We haven't got anything um, this time because well, we're in a van and I'm clumsy and the chances are I'll break it. And Within. I didn't want to spend £120 on an ashtray. And Tony didn't want to spend £120 <laughs> on an ashtray, so that's what I, happened there. I don't need an ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's worth popping in if, if you're after something or um, sort of a gift for somebody. Then yeah, it's lovely. If you need a bowl for your camper van, then uh, if you need a bowl, go in there and spend some money. Yeah, definitely. Ardwreck Castle. Ardwreck Castle was built around 1590 by the Clan MacLeod however, was destroyed by Clan Mackenzie in 1672. Ardfrex still stands proudly on the north shore of Loch Assynt. Also worth a visit. Opposite the castle on the other side of the road is a small picturesque waterfall. Be sure to uh, look over your shoulder when you're at the castle and you'll see this or hear it in the background. I've never 
I've been known for my cautious side. I know the wind that I stir is a gale. So let us just do my love and not stop thinking of this over. Many thanks for watching and for sticking with the channel. We'll be back really soon as our adventures continue along the NC500 with a few diversions along the way. Please remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you on the, the road, road soon. soon.